composite is, um, for us, it's carbon fibre, um, but a composite can be uh, a collection of any material. So if you take concrete, for example, concrete cement with stones in it, you don't get the properties of concrete from stones, you don't get the properties of concrete from cement. You bring the two together and there you have a composite. Carbon fibre within Formula One is something that's been around for probably the last approaching 30 years. Composite bodywork is quite a complex and labour-intensive process, but it's a process we're prepared to go to to make bodywork for the car. It starts off life in the technical office where the designers prepare designs, choose the shape of the bodywork they want. We have to manufacture patterns that we do on some of our larger machines here, and the patterns create almost a form, a shape, a copy of the shape that we want. And then we take that into our clean room where we lay up the layers of carbon fibre cloth um, and that can be many layers, up, sometimes up to 100 layers. Um, once we've done that, we then seal all that together. We put it into a vacuum where we can suck all the air out and clamp the layers down. And then they're moved into our autoclaves, which could be considered a pressure cooker, where we cure the resin that's embedded in the carbon fibre cloth and put them under pressure at the same time to squeeze the layers together. Usually it's around about 180 degrees and up to about 7 atmospheres or 100 psi. In terms of percentages, it's really difficult to say how much of an F1 car is made up of carbon, but actually all of bodywork, so every part of the car that you can see, the bodywork is carbon fibre. And the steering wheel is bespokely made to the driver's uh, requirements, you know, all out of composites, all the suspension, all the bodywork, the chassis, the, uh, the survival cell that the driver sits within is all uh, you know, composite, the gearbox. Now the majority of teams are using composite carbon fibre um, you know, gearboxes, so it's a huge impact that it's had on the sport. The cars would probably look dramatically different um, you know, if, if it hadn't been, been uh, introduced.